Back in 2015, Volvo launched the all-new XC90. It was the car that brought Volvo into a new era with a new scalable architecture and this gorgeous new look that we've seen ever since. The Swedish company has just been on an absolute roll lately. This is the 2020 XC90 T8 inscription. It's basically the most fully loaded and most powerful version of the XC90 that you're going to be able to buy. Now, instead of doing what's called a mid-cycle refresh, that's auto industry jargon for when you see like a new phase or new infotainment or something without any major mechanical changes, Volvo has instead decided to do small changes each and every year. This year for 2020, we've got this new concave grille. Somehow, I think it's made what was already a very pretty SUV look even better. Of course, we've still got these Thor's hammer headlights that come into like a sort of T shape, gorgeous at night. They pair really well with this birch light metallic paint. That's optional on this trim, but I think it looks absolutely amazing and wherever you pull up to in this XC90, you are gonna be looking good. Now also for 2020, Volvo has added standard 19 inch wheels, although we've got optional 21s here on our inscription. Might hurt the ride a little bit, but they look gorgeous. You're also gonna get standard roof rails here, just finishes this car off in a beautiful, beautiful fashion. Pairs really well with this nice chromed inscription badge that rides all the way alongside the underside of the car. Now that we've talked a little bit about the outside changes, on the XC90 for 2020. Let's go ahead and get it out on the road to see how it drives. All right, so now that we're out on the road, let's go ahead and talk about the different engine options in the 2020 XC90. And for a little bit of a better breakdown, be sure to check out my 2020 S60 video, which has a little bit more detail on these drivetrains. So basically you can get the T5, that's a 250 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder with 250 horsepower. You can get the T6 drivetrain, same engine, but it adds a supercharger for 316 horsepower. You also get all wheel drive with that one, or you can get the one that we're driving in now, the T8 plug-in hybrid. That's gonna bump the power all the way up to 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque, although it does weigh a lot more, 5,100 pounds. And the reason why it has so much more power than the T6 is because it adds an electric motor on the rear axle, giving you all-wheel drive. Now for 2020, Volvo has increased the battery size from 10.4 kilowatt hours to 11.6 kilowatt hours. It doesn't help that much uh, with range. You're going to be able to get 18 miles on electric only, um, up from 17 miles on the 2019 model year. But the big benefit of having the battery, in addition over the T6 drivetrain, is that you're going to get much better fuel economy around town. Volvo has this car rated at 26 mpg in the city, 30 on the highway, and 27 combined. That's really good for a big bruiser that sits six or seven people comfortably and weighs over 5,000 pounds. You're also going to get 55 mpge when running on just electric alone. Now with an 18 and a half gallon tank, your theoretical range if you have it charged up is pretty close to 600 miles if you're driving economically. Now compared to the T6 drivetrain, which has all wheel drive, you're only gonna get 18 mpg in the city, 26 on, on the highway, and 21 mpg combined. So this T8 is definitely a huge improvement on those numbers. Not only do you get an improvement in fuel economy, but you also get a pretty good improvement in performance. That's what 400 horsepower is gonna get you. Instead of 6.1 seconds to 60 in the T6, you're gonna to get to 60 in this T8 in just 5.3 seconds. That's pretty quick in a big bruiser like this. And no matter which one you get, T6 or T8, you're going to be able to tow 5,000 pounds. So now that we've talked about those engines, let's talk about how the XC90 drives. A lot like other Volvos, it's got very light, very easy steering. Volvo has improved the brake pedal Pedal feel on this T8 trim for 2020. It used to have a bit of an unlinear feel when it was recapturing uh, energy into the battery, but now it's completely linear. They've definitely fixed that. You've got all of these different drive modes. You have your eco, your hy normal hybrid. You can have pure. You can run mostly on electric power alone or you have the Sport, which is really gonna combine those and definitely make this thing feel a lot faster. We've got the optional four corner air suspension. I think it's an $1,800 option. Makes this car ride 
beautifully, even with the optional 21 inch wheels that we have on here. This thing rides like an absolute cloud. And when you have it in sport mode, even when you toss it through the corners at 5,000 pounds, it doesn't exhibit too much body roll. So it is actually quite enjoyable to drive, although not quite as sporty as the German options like the GLE or the BMW X5. But I do really love driving this car, especially on the highway. I just drove it um, from where I live in Orlando to Tampa, got massage seats on the way there, blasting the Bowers and Wilkins stereo, which is my absolute favorite, and I can put it on Pilot Assist, that's Volvo's uh, standard drive features. Adaptive cruise control comes standard for 2020. You're also gonna get emergency braking and blind spot monitoring standard. So Volvo really gives you a ton of safety, but we've got the full suite. So basically I can take my hands off the wheel. It's gonna remind me to take my hands on the wheel. So you really can't drive with your hands off the wheel much. This is not a self-driving car. It is only assistive driving, but for all intents and purposes, the car is doing most of the braking, uh, the steering correction and all all that so I can just focus on relaxing and this is one of the few cars that when I drive it I arrive at my destination more relaxed than when I set off it's an absolutely beautiful experience and part of that is this wonderful interior which is why I'm gonna pull over and show you how lovely this cabin is all right so now that we've pulled over let's go ahead and check out the interior of the 2020 Volvo XC90 where the interiors of these Volvos look very similar from car to car you're not gonna step into one and be like, oh, I know exactly which model this is. They do look very much alike. We've got this nice tan leather interior. This is definitely the interior color that I would go with. You also have this lighter wood. I love the woods Volvo does on these interiors. And this interior is just lovely. We've got soft suede up here, leather wrapping the center console. This is all carpeted. Everything you touch is soft materials and there is nary a hard touch plastic to be found in this interior. You've got your all digital display here. Just like on the S60 T8 that we drove, you don't get a normal tachometer, at least not in normal mode. You get this interesting hybrid gauge, uh, so you're gonna be able to tell when you're running on electricity or when you're running on gas. Although if you do use the optional drive mode selector here, you've got your all-wheel drive, pure, hybrid, individual, power and off-road modes. If you go into the power mode, you are going to get a traditional tachometer. As you may have been able to see, the car also just lowered itself a little bit using its four-corner air suspension. That's pretty cool as well. Now, let's take you over to the census infotainment here. It works a lot like a smartphone where you have sort of screens with different apps. You can pull down this menu to have your settings and your alerts and things like that. It hasn't changed much since this car first debuted back in 2016, but they added a faster processor for 2020, so it no longer starts up like a Windows 98 computer. It is quick and responsive from the moment you turn the car on, which makes it difference. You have your weather, wiki location, Yelp. Even though this is a slightly older system, I absolutely love it. Even though it's not the biggest screen in the business, it feels big enough for me. And even though most of the climate controls, in fact, all of them are housed here on the touch screen, they're very simple to use. And Volvo has smartly put a nice volume knob with play, pause, forward and back here. Interestingly, on the XC90, the glove box release is also a button here on the dash. Now let's focus on this area as well. We've got our nice crystal Aura Force Sweden shifter. You only get that on the T8 drivetrains. Love the way it looks, lights up at night, but I don't love the way it functions. To get into reverse, you have to push up once, that gets you in neutral. Push up again gets you into reverse. And now to get into drive, down, down again. So that's just a little bit annoying to have to trigger it twice. And of course, just push P for park. You've got Volvo's weird little uh, starter. Instead of a button, you have like a thing you turn here. And the one thing I want to point out that's a little different on this XC90 than on the S60 that we just recently drove, this center console is just a little bit longer. So when I slide open this nice wood tray, I've got my two cup holders plus a little bit of room up here for like a phone. I can take my phone here and put it in diagonally, which is perfect. Of course, I have got my USB in here so I can plug it in for Android Auto. 
and Apple CarPlay. However, there's no USBs in the back. So let's go ahead and check out that back seat space where your kids might be a little angry that they can't charge their devices. So back here in the second row in the inscription trim, we have the six seater variant of the XC90. That's new for 2020. Used to only be a bench seat back here. You can slide these seats back. You can also recline them just a little bit. They're very comfortable. They're heated and you do have climate controls here, but no ventilation on these seats back here. Not like the Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade. I do have sunshades though, which is quite nice to keep me out of the sun. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out to show you how these adjust because they aren't powered like some of the ones you get like in the BMW X7, but they are quite easy to use. Now, if I wanted to fold this flat, one button is going to trigger that, goes all the way down perfectly flat. That's pretty easy for storage. Now get it back up the same way. Now, if I want to get into the third row, that's a different lever back here on the seat. I simply pull that, slide that, and that's going to make getting into the third row a lot easier. Now that I'm back in the third row, not as much room back here. I would only put small kids or maybe adults for very short distances. I have the front seat in a the second row in a comfortable position. I have just a very small amount with my knee, but since we have the six seater, I have enough room to stretch my right leg. I think with a seven seater, you're gonna be pretty crammed back here and you're not gonna have that much room behind the third row, but let's go ahead and check that out. So the Volvo XC90 is not the most impressive car in the class when it comes to second and third row legroom, but it is quite impressive when it comes to cargo space, even with the third row up, we're gonna have a little under 16 cubic feet of storage. Now, there are no powered options for the seats. They're all manual, but at least they're really easy to put down. So that's how easy it is to put down the third row. That's gonna get you a little under 48 cubic feet of storage if you left that second row up. If you have all three rows folded, like what I have, you're gonna have a little over 85 cubic feet of space, which is a whole lot. And since we have the optional four corner air suspension, we have these little buttons here where if I hold this down, it'll lower the entire rear end of the car, makes it a little bit easier to get groceries and heavy boxes if you're a little bit older and can't maybe lift all of that weight. So now that we've summed up our trunk space in the XC90, let's go ahead and price it out. So that was the 2020 Volvo XC90. Pricing starts at about $48,000. That's for the base T5 Momentum trim, but you're gonna wanna go inscription like we have here. For the T6, that's gonna start you off at about $63,000. If you want the T8 plug-in hybrid like we have, that's gonna be about $74,000. Now that's a huge price delta there of about $11,000 dollars but depending on what state you live in, you'll probably qualify for about a $5,000 tax credit. Now, the one we have here has plenty of options. We've got those 21 inch wheels. We've got the Bowers and Wilkins audio system. That's about $3,400. Highly recommend doing that. We've got the advanced package. We've got some driver safety features. You're gonna want the massage seats. I think they're pretty luxurious. All in, you're gonna be spending about $85,000 for this XC90 as you see it here. And even though this is a model that's been on the on the market for a couple of years now, I still think it deserves a perfect car buzz score of must buy. It's one of my favorite luxury SUVs in the segment and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend one.